So good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Juan Carlos. Um, I'm a PhD student. Well, my supervisor is Jorge and also David Rizzo, if you know him. And today I will be talking about, uh, well, a method to digitize or to use OMR for advanced uh, scores. In this case, the Gregorian test. Also, this work uh, has been made with the help of Francisco Castellanos, better known as Paco, the one of the Paco's method. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, let's begin. Um, why we want to digitize vocal music? <clears throat> well, it is the longest tradition type of music, and <clears throat> it has a special characteristic or feature, and it is that it also has in document text. So <clears throat> if we want to digitize this vocal music, we will first think about uh, digitizing the music using an OMR system. So we get the music transcription, as it is said. So also we can take the lyrics and then using an OCR or HDR uh, method, get the lyrics. But what about the relationship between these two sources? Well, this is what we called the alignment information, and using this method, we are not getting. <clears throat> so the task of recognizing this type of documents, uh, we've proposed a name, which is the Aligned Music Notation in Lewis Transcription Task. And this task is important because, as Echiro said, uh, having a pipeline with multiple steps uh, we propagate the errors between the, these steps. So our proposal is uh, transcribing these two music sources using an holistic approach that in one step uh, gets the, or transcribes the music information, the alignment information, and the lyric information in a single step. So uh, this is how a, a chant score looks like. And I wanted also to, to show you this type of score because um, not always we have uh, the notes uh, or and the lyrics related like one to one uh, related. So for example, this last syllable, all the symbols are related to that syllable. So in a graphical sense, it is uh, difficult to relate these two sources. Also, uh, we are using the DABC encoding. Uh, this is because the main database that uh, um, has a Gregorian chants annotated is the Grego base data set. And all the chants are annotated in DABC. So we suppose, and uh, we're not experts in the DABC format, but we, we think that it is like the standard format for the Gregorian chants. Uh, to be encoded, <clears throat> and it looked like well, this is the GABC encoding. Well, the uh, we find the music between parentheses and the uh, This is the data we've been using. So here we have like the printed version, but the what is the re render using the JBC latex uh, rendering tool. And then we built a distortion or tool that uses blurs. Uh, well, it applies multiple distortions to the source to have a more realistic feel uh, of, uh, of the image. Another important step here is the how we treat the JVC to ingest it in the in the neural network. So we tried different encodings. The first one is the character encoding. And um, with, it doesn't differentiate between if it is a, a lyric token or a music token, then the music aware encoding, which uh, it differentiates between the two sources. And then the learned encoding, which is which uses the sentence based strat. So which is the problem? The state of the art recognizing, for, for example, monophonic music is the CRNN uh, plus CTC uh, loss function. And the problem is that 
it is a single task and to end transcription framework. Uh, so when we are transcribing vocal music, we don't have a single symbol in the image or per frame. We have the note and also the lyric related to note. So that's why we can use this method to retrieve the information from a vocal chain. So we thought, what about if we rotate the image? And you may think, why are you doing this? Well, if we rotate the image, we can apply a multi-line a paragraph segmentation free transcription nets. So we can read the uh, image like a, a paragraph with lines of text. In this case, lines with lyrics and music. And also it corresponds or it relates with the ground truth itself. So this can be uh, can be read uh, as a paragraph, so as the image. To do this, we need a neural network that learns what is a line in the image in order to unfold this paragraph to create like a single line in it, let's say, or feature mouse. <clears throat> so for this task, task, we use a pixel fully convolutional block and a decoder. And the metric will be the CR, which is standard in the transcription area. <clears throat> and uh, we proposed uh, two methods, which is the CNNT, which is an encoder with a convolutional network, and then a transformer decoder, and then just a fully convolutional network. These are the results. but. Uh, I don't really, uh, I don't want you to, to check like the, the CR results because as many of you have mentioned, <laughs> if the error rate is, uh, is not near zero, is not like really suitable for, for the musicological, musicological uh, part. So I, I want to mention why it is important, the encoding. So as you can see in the printed scenario, when we use the character encoding, where we don't really differentiate what is music or lyrics, uh, it is not working in any of the uh, frameworks, even uh, either the FCN or the CNNT. But when we start differentiation, the different uh, tokens, we will, uh, uh, improve, we improve the, the performance of the, of the method. So we get that the best case is uh, using music aware encoding. <clears throat> And then in the distorted case, although the results are not really like useful in a real case scenario, they give us uh, some insights on the importance of how scores uh, are encoded and how we treat these ground truths to ingest the, uh, to give them to the neural network. So as a conclusion, um, in this work, we wanted to establish how this problem of transcribing vocal music can be approached like in a holistic manner, in a one-step process. Then identify the areas of, of future research, like as, uh, as I mentioned, the encoding or how to treat the, the encoding of the score, and also well, to contribute, uh, exploring different methods and also to contribute to the novel uh, transcription task of aligning music and lyrics at the same time. So thank you very much.